Their hands serve food to empty bellies, hand out $2 bills, drive the sick to get healthy. It gives me a purpose in life. Their hearts, steady, slippery paths, guide young minds. These girls need someone who will listen to them. Helping not because they have so much, but so many have so little. Thank you very much. Good deeds don't need rewards, but good deeds are contagious. The same So All May Eat Cafe in Denver received more than 4,000 emails and $20,000 in donations. It's incredible. It means it will continue to feed people. It's believed Sir Winston Churchill said, you make a living by what you get, you make a life by what you give. With so many out of work, giving, not in dollars but in time, is one of the ironic twists of this recession. A flood of volunteers, life building. Wow, you are really getting good. Barbara Parton saw the smiles Charlie Olson was bringing with old ice skates. So she dug into her closet and found an old pair, so more can smile. Everybody has the power to give in any little way. Make life better, make, like, make, just make a little day a little nicer for somebody. Strangers are getting on the road with Bob Langley, gas money for driving cancer patients to treatment. Money. A stranger is sending a donation to the Hope Place in Alabama, inspired by the $2 bill pharmacist, who asked employees to send some of their bonus bills to charity. <laughs> Inspiring stories, uniquely human. When we see people do beautiful actions, virtuous deeds, it affects us, it moves us, uh, and it makes us uh, want to do the same. There have been dozens of calls to do what my sister's circle is doing in Baltimore. Women paving the way for young girls to a better life, not with money, but commitment. <laughs> Tough times, you bet. But with helping hands and big hearts, hope. Roger O'Neill, NBC News, Washington.